Our cast. Frozen. <laughs> right, everybody get your pants up because we got to do this. It's doing it live now. Oh, we're live. So uh, I was going to say, I'm glitching out over here. Yeah, you are. So I'm Amanda. This is Dennis, in case you can't read the names. Um, I'm the owner-operator of AGP. Dennis is one of my minions. And uh, we're just going to sit back, relax, have some good times. I may show you some stuff that we're working on. But I might have to make emotes today. So all you guys who are following and want to end up subscribing. But I know a lot of people only subscribe to get the emotes. I'm working on those. And I should have those in a couple of weeks. So I'm really excited to present those. I am going to give a little spoiler. Um, there's going to be one of the emotes. The puppy, she goes gonna be emo and fizz gig. Hi, baby, come here. She's gonna be an emo. Yes, she is. Hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> Hair's all excited to be an emo. Your hair still needs boy. to give me back one of my toes. Nope, ain't gonna happen. Thank oh. you. It's exactly. By the way. Gee. Oh my god, it looks blue. Okay, this is supposed to be green, people. I don't know why it looks blue on the camera, but I finally got it finished, finished. So, so now we have the two designs on the mask. We have, I call this the Mortal Kombat design, and then I call this the accordion design, because it's the one where it's like, it looks rectangular, and then you open it up. So, I fi finally figured out the two designs for masks. Yay! So, now we're going to be starting to sell some masks over on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. Um, obviously, this is this is the reason why we decided to do this is there's a lot of people out there who want... Oh, hush. Phone. Bad phone. Um, I forgot to turn that off. My bad. Uh, anyway, a lot of people either... They're like, nah, masks are blah, 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 blah. So hopefully this will encourage people to wear masks because they could be fun and exciting. And this is also to help people out, you know, because they're fun masks. Um, obviously, we do have generic things, too. But th but things like the Darth Vader, stuff like that. I made that one. We do have fabric like that. Those would be commissions. Mm -hmm. Dennis is excited. Look at him. He's like, "Oh yay!" <laughs> but sorry, so, I'm trying to like. When I have like a stream going on, when I'm talking to somebody, it makes everything else slow down. So I'm trying to close out as much stuff as I can to keep that slowdown from happening. Yeah, I only I only put it up long enough to go. Okay, it's working. Cool. That's all I need to know. Um, <laughs> because even though everything's hardwired, I have so much stuff. Uh, to explain how many electronics are going on in my house, um, I've not turned yeah, on the I'm air just like, yet. I'm looking over here, like, Steam, that's going on Facebook, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah you're gone. But, just to give everybody an idea, um, it's 85 degrees outside, and... I have not turned on the air conditioners yet, so I have the windows open and the fans going. The rest of the house is sitting at a nice 72 degrees. It's 93 degrees here in this office because of all the electronics. It's hot as hell. And it's, I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt. Like because <laughs> my truck has no air conditioning, it's 95. It's that degrees in my car whenever I drive. <laughs> So, Dennis, you brought some fascinating information about a game we absolutely love to play on this channel. He's thinking. Yep. Uh, today they announced the new killer. Uh, it's a Silent Hill pack. Yep. Uh, it's this new killer. Uh, it's the Silent Hill pack. It's going to bring in the Executioner, or known as uh, Pyramid Head, and Cheryl Mason from uh, the Silent Hill series. No idea how they got Konami to let them have those characters, though. Like, that's some other black magic right there. Because Dead by Daylight's awesome, and so many people play it. And the bright side is, is that means there'll be more killers again when we're trying to find a random killer. Because, ugh, that's like, that's like the only thing that I hate about the game is when I'm trying to fight, and we're trying to play, and we have four survivors, and everybody's like, nah, I don't want to be killer. Nah, I really need a killer. 
If you could be a killer that yeah. sucks, it's even better. Yeah, like, we that, need a killer. Come on, give us. <laughs> like that poor nurse the other night. Come on, nurse, follow Amanda. She's still chasing you? Yep. Is she still chasing you? Yep. I didn't touch one generator. You guys totally gen rushed the crap out of her because she just kept chasing me around in a circle. What was she thinking? It's like, go find somebody. Well, uh, I I also just so happen to be a big fan of Silent Hill, so I know a lot about uh, Pyramid Head and Cheryl Mason and that whole series because I played most of them. The I've only played and, uh, the first two. I, uh, I said in the group chat that I was guessing that it was Pyramid Head, and I was right there, and that it would be James Sunderland, because uh, Pyramid Head is kind of James Sutherland's personal monster. Uh, right. like symbolizes a bunch of stuff for him. And the thing I brought up about him is uh, all the killers in Dead by Daylight are naturally like quick. They can kind of like run after the survivors, especially Legion. But um, Pyramid Head, by his nature, is kind of slow because he's got to drag that big knife around. And the trailer that they showed off kind of still had him dragging the knife. So is he going to be fast? Is he going to be slow? How are they going to implement that? I think they'll up his speed a little bit. I mean, they're not going to like give him like a chainsaw and go, here, be a new hillbilly, but... The thing that scares me the most is we already have the issue with killers being able to reach out and touch someone like they have go-go gadget hands. Oh my god, yeah. the reach on him is going to be... You're going to be halfway across the map and he can be like, swoosh! <laughs> I don't have a heartbeat and I just got downed. What the hell is this? Oh, that great knife is going to have a hella wind-up too. Just like... <laughs> But they, I mean, they, they'll do something because mm -hmm. the gunslinger really isn't that fast of a co killer either, but he has that long reach because of the gun. Yeah. Now, we can't also forget, um, I had two ideas of how they were going to do this. One, they could either have the new map and then the other world version of the map. Or Pyramid Head is going to act kind of like Freddy does. Like he's able to pull you into the other world where he gets certain perks. I don't want to go in the uh, n the other upside down. Yeah, yeah. I, I, that's the other thing like, is that's the gimmick of Silent Hill is you're in like the main town and it's all normal and stuff, and then you get pulled into the other world. Mm -hmm. So I was like, the the trailer show that they showed off had Cheryl like hiding from him and as he was coming towards her the world was turning into the other world so, so it I comes with tried... him hmm. yeah <clears throat> now I don't know if that means like the map will change as he kind of moves around it or if like I said he'll just like attack you does this mean if you can change this, the uh, the map into the other world does this mean that all the maps are going to get an other world version of it though I don't know. It may be just his map. I don't know. I I have no idea. There's a more pressing question, though. Does this mm -hmm. mean that the nurse is going to leave the doctor and now belong to Pyramid Head? Well, if the second game is any, any indication, <laughs> I don't think they're going to have a choice. <laughs> I mean, everybody already was like, oh, she reminds me of the nurses from, except for she floats and she's not scantily dressed. But, you know, there, there was always that Silent Hill vibe with her anyway. And now you have Pyramid Head and you're just like, well, here's some more fanfic and stuff that you're going to find on uh, Rule 34. <laughs> oh, the Sandination animation for that is going to be glorious. <laughs> Just like the doctor and the nurse are like talking before a match. It's like, so who's the new guy coming in here? Oh, I don't know, but I hear he's got a weird shaped head. Weird shaped head. And he just kicks in the door, grabs the nurse and drags her away. And it's just like, bye. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Meeting over. <laughs> Meeting. Uh, where's the nurse? She's like crawling in. It's, Help me! He just drags her away again. It, it 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 is. I think it's cool that they keep getting all these different properties. 
Um, I, I do understand that a lot of people really do want to see uh, Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th, but that's going to take a lot of time since he did have his own game, which has epically failed at this point. And the only reason to even own it is if you have enough friends to play it. Uh, did you see what I posted in the chat where like they were talking to some Dead by Daylight fans mm -hmm. and they said the only way that he could get in there is there's apparently still a lawsuit going on surrounding mm -hmm. the game. And the other reason he would get in there is if they can resolve that. Right. But I know it's what everybody, every, everybody wants it. It's like, okay, he tried his own game now twice and they both suck. So can we put him in a really good game? Um, mm. And then of course, to finalize that would to be bring in Chucky. But again, we've discussed this. How is I he going to work in maps like the swamp or the cornfield? I don't think he's coming in for the pure and simple. Like, uh, did you see the, the, uh, the game I sent you? Mm -hmm. uh, Charlie, the Charlie, the legacy. Okay. I think that's why he's probably never going to be in the game. Yeah. But still, even if they were able to do it, let's say they were able to secure it still that way, yeah. that, that killer would have a mega unfair advantage because of how little it is. They would probably like up his size a little bit to, so that he's maybe like half squat to Legion maybe. Cause remember they, they changed around like Freddy's design a little bit. So that he, because, because according to the lore, when the entity brings you into their realm, he like makes his own modifications to you. Yeah, well, could he have modified him into freaking Robert England instead of that piece of shit Freddy Krueger? That would have been great. I mean, if you got like a couple hundred thousand dollars to cough up to Robert England, I'm sure he could manage something. Give me him anyway. Just cough it up. You have the money. <laughs> Just, bro, just sell just sell yourself to Disney, and then you'll have the money to get them. Because Disney <laughs> will own everything anyway. Yep. Behavioral entertainment bought out by Disney. <laughs> new killer announced, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> He's the new survivor. <laughs> you get Maleficent as a new killer. And her ability, she turns into a dragon. Ah, crap. It's just like, we gotta get out of here. She just like blocks the exit as a dragon. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> I still vote I want a xenomorph. That would be awesome. Like just naturally have it be able to like climb on walls and stuff. That would <laughs> Maury's on that. <laughs> you don't even gotta try all that hard. Um Alien vs. Predator 2010 had so many execution kills for the xenomorph. I know, but we, the, normally the killer gets like the one type of Mori, which what you know what's going to be the most iconic one for them. You know, obviously it's got to be something with the mouth. I mean, nobody wants yeah, to it, die from the tail. It like grabs, it grabs him and goes and just like takes out the head. Yeah, but yeah, there would be there could be so many really cool things to be able to do with a xenomorph. Maybe have different. Maybe their color mores are the different types of the uh, assassinations, or the mm -hmm. you know, this one you get killed with the inner mouth through the head. This one you get a tail through the back. This one a face hugger comes up and gives you. What is that? What does she want? Hmm. Your girlfriend's here. Wait, get rid of it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. She wants to play. One second. <laughs> That's his girlfriend. She's try she's trying to be part she wants to be one of us. Yeah. It's like she wanted to watch it, so I was like, oh here, let me send the link. She can watch it's that on, there. It's on Twitch. It's on Twitch. <laughs> Oh, okay. Hold on. Like, yeah, I said. I'm gonna go to All Twitch. Right. <laughs> He's like, "Hey, you want to watch this here? Come to Streamyard. We won't get views on any of the social medias that we're using, though." There you go. I'm gonna have to fix you one of these days. <laughs> He's messaging her. Excuse me, honey. I love you. Go watch it on Twitch. <laughs> love you. Wrong link. That was my bad. Oh my. Buddy on Pokemon Go has got me a gift, yay. 
I don't care. I still play Pokemon Go. Get over it. And yeah, you're going to see me constantly wipe my face, but that's because I have a fan right there on top of me. Well, I, I was going to say, I'm not going to make fun of you for it because I actually work like right outside of Pokestop. So my manager literally will just sit there when we're slow and just keep wait till the Pokestop refreshes and just get stuff. <laughs> She's like, I'm just listening. Honey, go watch it. Yeah. You can watch it on Twitch. Go over here. But, yeah. um, What is it? Uh, it'll be interesting to see what they do with him. Um, it'll be, it, it, It's amazing how much this little game has grown. There are some things that I'd like to see changed a little bit. Like, I get it. They brought in Leatherface. But was he really that great of an ad? Because you already had a chainsaw guy. I think that was more of kind of like they wanted a few more license killers. And so they were like, hey, Leatherface. They were like, hey, Leatherface. We could do him. It's like he's a cheap property. They want some quick promo. Didn't like a Leatherface film come out at about the same time that they put him in? I have no idea. I, I, I All those new Texas chainsaws were just ill. I was going to say, I know that there was one that came out in like 2018, 2017, around about the time that he was put in. I so did. some of them. I did find out something really interesting. You know Ghostface is in his name, right? That's not yeah, the name no. of the killer. He is the Woodsboro killer. That's his name. Ghostface was mm -hmm. came from when Tatum was making fun of him. And she's like, ew, Mr. Ghostface. So it's like an insult to call him Ghostface. Well, the name of the costume itself, like, it's like an off-brand, like an off-costume that you can buy. Right. So, from what I understand, um, originally, it was based off of that Van Gogh painting where the guy's all like, and they made this mask, but it was too copywritten, so they found something really generic when they found it. But... The actual name of Ghostface isn't Ghostface. It's the Woodsboro Killer. Woodsboro Killer, And I yeah. just thought that was kind of cool because everybody just calls him Ghostface. Like, what else? Yeah, the name of the costume itself that he wears is Ghostface. That's why everyone calls it Ghostface. But I just thought it was kind of cool to find out that that's not really his name. And the reason why Tatum goes, eh, Mr. Ghostface, is because she's insulting him. <laughs> Um, the weird thing about that is, um, okay, the pig, the, the, the pig is Amanda from the movie. From Saw, it, like, yeah. Her, her, like, the story of how she got in there was, like, after she died in Saw 3, like, the entity, like, grabbed her and brought her into the realm. So you would figure that Ghostface is one of the, like, one of the killers from the movie, but he's not. Right. He's somebody else who's just, like... Like a copycat? I don't know. I actually haven't seen Scream the series. Okay, so he might so be the dude from the series. I I haven't seen the television series. I've only seen the movies. One, great. Two's okay. Three sucked. Four, it was all right and went back to kind of what the Scream movies were like. I've never really been a fan of uh, the Scream I'm movies, just, really. I'm so. just a horror fan. So I yeah. will look at I will watch any horror movie. There's some really good ones, and then there's just some ones that you're just like, no. And then there's my guilty pleasures. For like example, I love Jaws. I even like two, even though it's really a rehash. Just this time, the killer sharks after all the teenagers, which of course it makes sense at the time because it was about you know the first one. It's a bunch of adults. Well, the slasher movies were all about teenagers. Hey, let's make Jaws a slasher movie and have them go after teenagers. It makes sense from when it was mm -hmm. made. Uh, Three. Quick, quick side <laughs> note on your Jaws rant. Uh, quick side note on the Jaws rant. There's an open world RPG that's out. I think it's out on PS4 right now called Man Eater. Man Eater, yeah. And you play entirely as a sh I like it, it looks goofy, but I was like, I was gonna check it out soon. Um, I'm watching this YouTuber called Syntax play it. Hmm. And he went I after like, it, golfers. <laughs> it looks goofy. It looks stupid, but if it's a lot of fun, I'll give it a shot. Right. Um, three, 
I know a lot of people hate Jaws 3. And I get it, all right? Because they try to make it into a 3D movie, the graphics suck. They suck so much. But I like the premise of shark gives birth to baby shark. They accidentally kill the baby shark because, you know, political greed. And then the shark goes on a rampage. And other than the effects, I like the movie. I really do. Four? What the hell? <laughs> the shark! The shark goes... Rawr! What? What? The shark has revenge. How does this shark have revenge? Every shark has been a different shark. All right? So, what? what? I, I, don't, I don't get it. And then it completely negates all of three. So, like, three never happen. It just jumps into Jaws the Revenge. And, like, the only reason to ever watch it is, A, to watch the shark roar, to watch a shark explode because a, sh a boat ran into it, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Never understood that. We shot. <laughs> well, and of course, <laughs> the best part. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't. I I, I got to get his name. What? Oh my god! Why can't I remember it? Why can't I remember? Why can't I remember his name? He's, um, um, help, uh, Michael Caine, Michael Caine, like, what's his name? I was name? about to say, I was like, sweetie, it's been forever since I've seen Jaws 4. Michael Caine in it, and <laughs> he gets out of the boat, and the, out of his plate, and the shark comes up, and he's like, oh, no, and he gets wrapped into the plate, is probably the greatest, he's like, uh, he doesn't even say, oh, no, he's like, oh, shit. It gets back in with his British accent. It's probably the greatest thing in that entire movie. <laughs> it's one of those things. It's like there's no more personification of the nope meme where he just like walks out, sees a shark. Nope. He just gets back on the plane. He just walks back because he, he lands the plane down to, next to the boat because um, he's dating uh, the mom at this point. He walks out. The shark's like, Rawr! he's like, oh, shit. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm like. Oh my god, what the hell is this movie's fucked up. I love it. In the sense of like Dungeons and Dragons love it. Oh my god, this is so horrible. We have to poke fun at it. We have no choice in this matter. Uh, oh, and you geez. and you know for a fact Michael Caine's character is definitely smuggling drugs. He's like, oh, I'm delivering laundry. You are not. You are not delivering laundry. In the Bahamas, no. <laughs> no. There's cocaine in them Long Johns. <laughs> Not even remotely. Ugh. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's, like, like I said, there's good movies. There's So, I got a question for you. What's a movie that everybody hates, but you actually like? Oh, that's actually, kind of, I know there's a bunch of them that everyone likes that I hate, but there's not really a whole bunch of them. Oh, uh, Spawn, the 1996 movie. Okay. Show I, also like, um, I also like the 2003 Daredevil. I think it was 2003. I'm pretty sure it was. I don't know. Me? Yeah, the... Uh, Showgirls. Yeah. It's Showgirls. Everybody hates the movie. I actually enjoy it for what it is. I've, I've heard bad things. I'm just like, I've just never seen it. I have it on DVD. She's like, ooh, I just figured out content. I'm going to sit Dennis down and make him watch Showgirls for the first time. <laughs> All right, let's do this. But it, dead silence. Okay. Hannah says dead silence. Actually, I oh, like that. All right. So okay. going into wait, 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 wait. Go ahead. Okay. I am sure dead silence is a good film. My ass is never going to see it because my ass is scared of puppets, which is why if they add Chucky to Dead by Daylight or if for whatever reason you're like, hey, everybody's getting Charlie the Legacy and we're playing it, I – oh, I couldn't do it. <laughs> I was traumatized by, like, Chucky as a kid and I just – I can't get past it. So, like, Dead Silence, sure is a fine film. 
I'm sure it is. I'm never going to know because I'm never going to see it. That shit scares the crap out of me. <laughs> so what you're saying is as soon as quarantine is up and over with and we can actually be near each other before it, without killing each other, uh, we're going to have a Puppet Master marathon because I own every Puppet Master movie ever created. Weirdly enough, there's something about the way – like this. I saw the uh, later ones – in those where they were more like heroic first before I saw the ones where they were like killers. So that one, not so much. I'm okay. Uh, with Master. Bleach lady the, and blade. Oh, they might, them, them, my dolls, yo. Hmm. Like, yeah, like I saw the ones where they were like, they were like being heroes rather than like the first two. I, or was the first like three that they were the killers of the movie? Well, here's the thing is it depends on how you look at it, if they're the bad guys or not, because mm -hmm. the story does, you know, um, as you get further into it, it does go into the fact that, you know, there's this whole bad word that starts with an N that they could possibly be Germans against. And you could put in your own word there because I really don't want to get hit because you're not allowed to say the N.A. word. No, but you Obviously, can have an entire channel about it, liking other people's content. I yeah, I it, it, it's the other N word that you're not allowed to ever say. The um, other other white meat. <laughs> it's the white N word you're not allowed to say, and um, and how he was they were supposed to be made to be weapons and this and that, and they're defending their rights and it it it. it it's it's really interesting. I do like the first one, even though they're hardly in the first one. If you really watch it, it's just all about the psychics. And then you're yeah. halfway through the movie, and then finally, finally, I get some killing. It's about time. Ugh, kill somebody, please. Yeah, the, the the first one I saw, I think it was like Puppet Master 5, where like this demon god was upset that they discovered how to make puppets live. Yep. So he sent like this. Gr so he sends like this gremlin out to go fight him, and they've got to put together this one guy who can switch out his heads to fight it back. I, I don't. I don't know. I thought that was kind of cool. So I was like, okay, this is this is okay. Huh? Just found the lens to one of my cameras. Hmm. <laughs> the things you do when you're kicking your feet around and you're barefooted. Hey, yeah. I, you know, and here's the thing is, I think that thing now has like 14, 15 sequels? 15 sequels. <sighs> with another one coming soon. Yeah. Because somehow, like, instead of, like, doing this, like, the first one took a while because they had to stop motion it. Right. But now, instead, they're just kind of, like, either using older shots for them or just marionetting the puppets mm -hmm. for and quick some, shots. And some CGI. There's a little bit of CGI in there. Yeah, like, you can just CG the puppets and use old shots and just get the movie out really quick. Just, right. Just grab a couple interns, have what? them kind of... Say what you them. want. There are sequels. Well, there's a lot of sequels. But they're sequels. They're not yeah. reboots. They're not remakes. They're sequels. Yeah, a couple of them kind of retcon past events but yeah they're all sequels but they are considered sequels it's mm -hmm. it's that you know freddy or i mean everybody else has gotten rebooted and in, in not the best of ways a lot of times yeah no it's <laughs> not really um like the friday the 13th the the beginning of the remake of friday the 13th is like the best thing in there and that's it. Once he kills all those guys in the beginning, like, the rest of the movie sucks. I cannot stand the Rob Zombie Halloweens. I absolutely hate them. Can't stand them. The Freddy Krueger remake was shit. Sorry. You just made Hannah happy because she doesn't like that one either. Oh, yeah. Here, here's, here, here's my problem with it. Like, we already knew he was without having to say he was, and that's what made Robert England so much creepier. But to have to come out and say, if you have to come out and say, oh, well, Freddy Krueger was a pedophile, we already know. We already figured that out. And it was way creepier yeah. without you having to say. If you have to dictate every little thing to me about my killer, you really start losing the, oh, my God, he's a killer, and I'm terrified of him. It's like that's what ruined the whole Michael Myers thing is, 
Why is he the way that he is? Oh, well, he came from this bad family of rednecks, and oh my god, seriously? Let me well, just have my reason, The reason he was so scary in the first couple movies, until we got to like four, five, six, and then the rest of it was like, there was no reason. He just did it. Just one night came home, put on the mask, and stabbed his family. He's like, hey, I'm a clown. Sissy, is this funny? Tell me if this is funny, sissy. Sissy, is this funny? <laughs> that Doing reveal the whole... at the beginning is just so great. It really sets up the rest of the movie. Yeah. Michael? Like, that's it. It's just they, they dead. Just, yeah, they just pick, they pull the mask off and they look at his face and there's just like no emotion on his face. That's what made him scary. Why is he a killer? Well, it's because he came from this redneck family and his dad was abusive. Dude, really? Yeah. Don't. Which is the answer to every psycho person. Oh, they came from an abusive family. Oh, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. Not, they just are. Well, why? I don't know. But why? We don't know. They just are. That's way more creepy. Yeah. That's just, no. <laughs> See, my thing with, like, the new Friday, uh, the new Friday remake I think the guy that got to do Freddy was, was decent enough. The problem I had with it was you were trying to redo the first movie, but there's not really a way to top that first movie. Like the way, like, cause it was so fresh and so new. do something else with it. Right. You're not, you're not going to beat the original nightmare on Elm street. Yeah. You're not going to beat dream warriors. Sorry. Ooh, that was a good one. Oh, that one and the one after that was also really good. Dream Warriors, that scene, I can't remember the kid's name, but the one that does the puppets, and then Freddy pulls his veins out and walks them off the... Oh! That's... No. Yeah, because it came, like, out of the wrist. Like, it didn't come out of, like, the top. It came out of the wrist. It, yeah. And he went, was walking like this. And out of the tops of his feet. And... Oof. That one always got me. And I... and. I think the reason why Dream Warriors will always be iconic to me is I started watching bloody horror movies since I was like four or five years old. I remember when Friday the 13th 3D came out, and I laughed through that movie. I thought it was the funniest movie I had ever seen. I'm not like four or five years old, and my mom's just going, Gene, your daughter's laughing at this guy mutilating teenagers. She's your daughter, too! <laughs> the first one I... The the first one that I ever saw was uh, part five. So, same, but now I hate them. So, but I always thought it was funny because my dad would let me watch these horrible, god awful, foul mouthed, bloody rip people apart movies. And then we got, and we were watching Dream Warriors, and it gets to the scene where the mute kid and the, and Freddy's the nurse, and she gets naked, and my dad goes, Oh, you can't watch that. <laughs> Why can't I watch that? That has boobs in it. I'm gonna get them someday, Dad. Get, get, get. Just let me watch. No. I just, watched, just watch somebody get cut in half, but can't see the boobies. <laughs> nope. I was not allowed to see boobs when I was little. I was allowed to see all the blood, gore, violence anybody could ever want in their lifetime. Mm -hmm. I was not allowed to see any type of nudity and of course all the movies were always female nudity so as i was older i'm like okay this makes no sense because obviously i was going to get that stuff anyway see you could have given no you want you you wanted some weird ass teacher to teach me about the fact that i was going to get boobs thanks yeah, that wasn't uncomfortable it's like two the two most uncomfortable things in school sex ed and when they do that drinking and driving PSA where they fake the uh, car wrecks and your friends are in there and, oh, and they do the horrible, the fake, you know, your friend died and the drinking and driving. And then they put like this mirror in a casket and you have to look at yourself as you go, as you leave the assembly. Like, this could be you someday. Hey, who wants to go out and party now? This sucked. But hey, we got out of schoolwork. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's go. I didn't have to do that. They made us like watch like three versions of Red Asphalt, and I'm like, okay, I get it. Thank you. <laughs> Drinking and driving bad. I oh lost an aunt. I lost an aunt to that kind of shit. So I like, yeah, no, I don't do it. Uh, the thing that made me stop 
to realize that drinking and driving was bad was the time I how do you feel about the conjuring movies? One second. So I was really bad and I would go out party a lot, and especially when I lived in Florida because I had Club La Vila there. So I would get slammed and then drive home. It wasn't until I parked my car on my own porch and didn't realize how I got home that I realized that I had done something wrong. Oh, and no. I do mean I parked my car on my porch. Yeah. <laughs> Not good. And it, luckily nothing happened bad, but it made me realize, yeah, maybe I shouldn't do this. Parking your car on your porch is bad. Especially when you don't own the property and you're renting the house. Yep. So how do I feel about the Conjuring movies? Hi. Um, I'm going to be honest. I haven't watched a lot of them. Um, I watched The Conjuring. I like that movie. Even though uh, not everything that happened was true. Is that the... Is that the uh, horror cinematic universe where like Annabelle and uh, yes, La, uh, I think La Llorona that La Llorona movie they came out with fits into that too um let's see I know let's see what uh, it's the I think it's the conjuring the conjuring to uh, the conjuring something about the devil I think the devil made me do it or something like that I know there's also um, Annabelle, the three Annabelle movies, um, The Nun, and The Curse of La Llorona. Uh, I think the third one is like like The Devil's Key or something like that, because it had like the thing with the, the the key on your finger and it would like unlock your throat or something like that. Don't know. Am I thinking of the? I was like, am I thinking of the right movie? I don't know. I watched The Conjuring. Mm -hmm. uh, the other ones have not really piqued my interest. Um, and I'm going to be honest, the only reason, the only reason why I watched The Conjuring is because, uh, Insidious is not part of The Conjuring. That's uh, something else, yeah. That's, yeah. The same, there's the same guy who plays in both movies, but he's playing two different characters, but they are yeah. two different, yeah, the, uh, in, Insidious has its own thingamajigger. Um, the only reason why I watched The Conjuring is because I was interested because I knew of the story already. Yeah. Because I, w I, mm, I was really big into ghost stories and learning about the Warrens when I was little and I knew about the Annabelle doll and things like that. So that was like the only reason why I was interested in the first place. And I get it, but I was never intrigued to watch the Annabelle movies simply because I knew the Annabelle doll was a Raggedy Ann doll. Hence the reason why yeah. I never liked Raggedy Ann in the first place. Yeah. Uh, like apparently now it's contained at this paranormal museum. It's, it's like in a box with like uh, salt around it. Nobody's allowed to get within like a certain distance to it. And if you want to take a picture of it, you have to ask it. Yep. And it and it will respond. Like it will shake its head. Uh, I think they said like that thing was so cursed that uh, they were trying to transport it to the museum. And like on like midway through the car ride there, they had to stop and do some kind of ritual to like suppress it or something like that. Right. On, um... the, on the road. You, you know that uh, the doll actually shows up in, um, what is it, Ghost Adventures. I did not know that, no. Yeah, there's an episode of Ghost Adventures where they convince the guy to bring the doll to, um, oh, what's the main, who's the main guy who runs Ghost Adventures? I can't remember, but that's really stupid. Because he has that haunted museum. Zach, ba Zach Baggins, right? When he has that haunted museum in Las Vegas, he brings the animal doll to his haunted museum. You idiot! I can't see this going wrong at all. 
And of course, what does Zach want to do? I want to touch it. Don't touch it. I want to touch it. Don't touch it. I want to stop trying to touch the doll. Just stop. Do you not understand that's what the doll wants you to do? Don't touch it. This thing is massively cursed. I'm going to rub my face on it. You're Steve Irving the doll. Stop it. <laughs> Knock it off, dude. It's not good. Yeah. And um, for the, the indi Insidious goes, a, a lot of people actually do get those two uh, confused. And I think a lot of it also has to do with, um, I think you said like the devil one has something to do with like a key finger or something like that. And if I remember correctly, there's Insidious, Insidious Chapter 2, 3, and then Insidious The Last Key. And it didn't help that, that they had the it. same. They had the same. They had the same character, the same actor in the movies, which didn't help. Yeah. Because you got the same guy playing people and say playing two different guys, but they're both in supernatural realms, and people are gonna get your stuff mixed up. But they they're both with the you know, uh, and where Insidious is turning into more like. Chapters 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, things like that, kind of like how the old uh, slasher movies are doing. The Conjuring is trying to do this universe like, you're not Marvel. But yeah, hey. like Annabelle is a killer thing, and it also exists in the world with like La Llorona and whatever the other one was. There was another one you mentioned that I can't remember right now. Good on. Oh, I'm not, that's what got me for sure that I'm not into those movies. Again, I liked Insidious. Um, I thought it was very well done. I liked The Conjuring. Um, I knew that, like, oh, like that happy ending, that happy ending did not happen. They never cured that house. They did not cure that house. That house is still standing today with the evil entities that were always there. And they're still there today. They they left. They left that family. They couldn't do it. The Warrens left. That's my plate. Hey. That's right. You better lay down. Holy cow. 20 million and it earned 319 million. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Okay, let's see here. The Conjuring Universe. List of film. List of short films? Holy cow. Franchise has been commercially successful, having grossed a combined 1.9 billion dollar billion dollars against a combined budget of 136 139.5 billion, becoming the second Hold on, would you consider Godzilla a horror franchise? Godzilla kind of is, but it's more horror monster. It is considered horror because it's monsters, but the kaiju franchise within its own is its own entity as far as I'm concerned. So okay. I believe that there is a Godzilla universe, in my opinion, because you have mm -hmm. all the classics. You have that really crappy... You know, you know that your Godzilla's messed up, when everybody's like, uh, yeah, that's not Godzilla. We're just going to call it Zilla and call it good. Is that cool with you? Cool. Great. All right. Bye. You know, it's yep. so bad when the original owners of Godzilla buy that, buy the rights to it, rename it just for the sole purpose of killing it off in another movie. Well, yeah. Um, I, Remember, these are the, but these are also the same guys who brought us classics. I mean, it wasn't for these people. We wouldn't have. I mean, I realize they're remaking this. I do, but I have the original King Kong versus Godzilla. Ooh, I love that movie. Um, I have every Godzilla and Gamera movie ever created. Um, there was a lost like film where Godzilla was supposed to fight a kaiju-sized werewolf. And they had it like 90% done and they lost it. But somebody's dug up the fight scene. Like the ending fight scene from it and put it up on YouTube. Hmm. I just want I just I just want to see when I'm gonna get in this corner we have Godzilla. In this corner we have Gamera. In this corner we have Cthulhu. In this corner we have King Kong. Fight! <laughs> 
God! Uh, you could, Popcorn! The reason you could totally do Godzilla versus King Kong versus Cthulhu because uh, Cthulhu and King Kong are characters that are both in the public domain. You don't got to pay anybody to use those characters. So if we wanted to, AGP could make our own King Kong movie. If AGP wanted to, we could make our own Cthulhu movie. If AGP wanted to, we could make our own King Kong versus Cthulhu movie. But in the meantime, AGP <laughs> will be making Throw Me's. I totally planned that segue. Like, it was totally you scripted did, out. You did not. You did not. You did not. <laughs> but We're going to make a movie, but in the meantime, we're making Throw Me's. Oh, I've always wanted to do a Godzilla movie. How do the rewards work? I'm getting a bunch of them, but I don't want to use them because I don't know how. I don't know. I'd have to Google search this. Just keep poking on the button. Um, so one of the things um, is we are a very small company. So here, this episode of the AGP podcast is brought to you by me, AGP, and my shit that I make. So I can continue making content. Um, So with that being said, um, my mom taught me how to sew and do artsy crafty stuff. And along the way, I'm trying to find ways to make money so I could get people PCs. That's you, Tyler. As you can see, I need another headset. I have one for the PS4. I need another one for the computer because I do so much. I have to be able to run around with a headset wireless, um, always getting new equipment. And, of course, this is the only job I have where a lot of my – the rest of my crew, luckily, are able to have full-time jobs. I don't. So this is all and that I have. And go to school. And go to school. So I have to find a way to keep the lights on, keep the internet on, things like that. So one of the things that we've always done is we've gone to shows and I've sold a lot of the crafty stuff that I do and the money goes back into AGP. Well, as most of you all know, we got hit with COVID this year and conventions are gone for this year. So I'm working my way into being able to promote the stuff here on Twitch, over on Facebook, Instagram, and stuff like that. So what do we make? Uh, we have simple things like these little things. We call these throw me's. These are created because we get really angry playing video games. So, Especially that's Amanda. Exactly, that's exactly what it's for. It's to throw. And it's better to throw listening. this. I was going to say, if you listen on a lot of our uh, streams, you can definitely, most definitely hear her throw that. And it's a lot better than throwing this, because this is expensive. If I threw this, which I'm not going to do, my baby, my Star Star Wars controller. Look at that. Look at the Star Wars. Look at it. Look at it. Um, I'm not going to throw my controller. So we thought that these would be really cool to me, and they're only $5 a piece. Um, I don't have a website at this particular time. So if it is, if you see anything that you're interested in, you can always just message me. Oh, we have a Facebook page. So just go to Amanda Gunla presents the Facebook page, send me a message. Um, obviously shipping and handling will have to be accounted for, but I mean, it's five bucks and this is a hell of a lot cheaper than a 60 to $80 controller. Um, on top of that, I also, like I showed really earlier, I'm working on making these medical masks. Um, I have many different types of fabrics and stuff that I'm working with, and I have the two styles. I have what I call the Mortal Kombat style, and then I have the accordion style, where you it a, looks like a little rectangular with little accordion pieces and opens up. And then, of course, the other thing, I don't have any, um, I'm working on making dice bags and dice trays. I don't have any done yet. But those will be coming. And then I also make dog scarves. And there's a really good Shigo. Come here, Shigo. Hi. Come here, baby. Oh. <laughs> She's like, really, Mom? Really? Shigo has one. Hers is a copyright material. We made her a My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Because she likes Rainbow Dash like her mommy. Oh, God. Rainbow Dash is awesome. No, 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 no. Uh, 
we were, I had a big thing of like change that we were like rolling up this weekend. And out of nowhere, Hannah goes, Oh, can you go get the rainbow dash piggy bank? I'm like, this plushie. She goes, no, it's a piggy bank. (laughs) I want a rainbow dash piggy bank. Like I just looked at it. I was like, this is a plushie. No, it's a piggy bank. You charlatan. I'm like, and I shook it and I was like, okay. And I have no idea. Like she like unscrewed the bottom and change just fell out. I'm like, all right, so in addition to farting rainbows, this thing farts farts, uh, farts money. All Excuse right. you. Oh. Rainbow Dash makes you want to be 20% cooler, okay? Hush. I mean, like, the amount of change, yeah, I'll be 20% cooler. Oh, here, I can show you a little bit. Here's a old, that, again, why does that look, okay, the green is totally, that's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and for some reason, the color is off. Green is not I, showing up. That's what happened when we were playing uh, Kill Your Friends the other night. Because um, not showing up. Legion, Legion skin in that is green, but it was coming off blue. That's really weird. But this is a dice bag that uh, we've made before. My string broke. This was like one of my prototypes. <laughs> oh, speaking of Legion and his skins, um, somebody posted that... Uh, the renders for the skins that are going to come with Pyramid Head also came out. Uh oh. Yeah, we I I gotta find them, but like it, there was we're like not, a skin where we're not getting naked Pyramid Head like we got naked Michael Myers, are we? Yeah. I don't think there is a like. You might get classic Pyramid Head where he's got like the the Rubik and the apron, but there's no there's nothing like that. Because, I mean, as far as I was concerned, Py- Pyramid Head was just a uh, pyramid head, a sword, and a loincloth. Great. He's probably naked under there anyway. Ew. Probably very naked under there. Do you think his sword is compensating for something? <laughs> you you, you or, know what? We'll ask you're, the not nurse. Even, you're not <laughs> even wrong about that. It is compensating for something. <laughs> okay. First off, can we, can somebody, all I can see ever since you're like, hey, they're letting us customize our genitals. In Cyberpunk 2027. Every time I look at a character on now, I'm going, hmm, I wonder what this would look like if this character was one of those characters. I'm so sad that that was only a meme for like two days. Like it, just... it got us, it got some good ones, and then it just died. Customize your journals, and then it's just like nobody. The internet and its depravity could find nothing to do with this. The internet right now is focused on what's going on because of society. I mean, come on, someone mentioned something about UFOs, and no one caught on to that. Oh, my uncle was over here today. He totally caught on to that. <laughs> the only difference is, is where the aliens showed up and went. Uh, yeah, we don't want this planet. It's infected. <laughs> they were flying over it. They were like, observe the media of this planet. Are they worthy to join the Federation? Nope. And they saw like a kid eating a Tide Pod, and they were like, go to the next one. Maybe the Martians are doing better. Oh, the Martians blew themselves up. All right, next one. That is so weird. Like, again, the green is not showing up. So this part is supposed to be lime green, and then this is yellow. And that's just so weird. I wonder what's going on, why it's doing that. I mean, the picture looks fine. Yeah. I just, I have no idea. I'm going to have to figure that out. And, yeah, these are these are mock-ups, old ones, because this has, like, fizz gig hair all over it and Shigo hair all over it. These are ones that my kids have used. Even though we did find this really cool fabric. And it glows in the dark. And so we're thinking about making some dog scarves and some masks with glow in the dark fabric. Hmm. I think it'll be really cool. Like lay it on the floor after your dog like goes to sleep, wake it up in the middle of the night, starts like going towards it. That'd be cute. Eh, my dogs don't really get the only the only things that get my dogs running is food. And for Shigo, Godzilla movies. Shigo loves Godzilla movies. If it's an original Godzilla movie, she's all about it. 
I, so am I. Except Godzilla's Revenge. That one's not good. I don't think she cares. But it's just funny because she really will watch a Godzilla. It would freak my kids out if I wore that. <laughs> I think it's kind of cool because we have the, we have the drive-in theater, which is about 30 minutes from where I live. And we mm -hmm. back when um, Rise of the Planet of the Apes came out, we took Shigo. I thought she'd like it. She did not like that movie. Every time an ape was on that big screen and it was talking, she was snarling or growling. She does. She is not keen on apes taking over the planet. I guarantee you that right now. Yeah. I actually didn't get into the new Planet of the Apes movies all that much. I, I enjoyed like, them. I was, like, they were okay. It's just... I don't know. Like, the, I, like the first one... I really enjoyed it. I like the way how they went with it. Um, because just because it brings in a different perspective. Because there's not the you, you know we all know, you're not. I get it's one of those things. They took something and they're like, okay, we can't do the twist ending. That's never. And no one is ever going to be able to do that. So why don't we show how it came to be? Oh, that's cool. So I really like that. Unlike some people who will not be named. <laughs> um, <laughs> who make this really crappy. Oh, it's a twist ending. That's not a twist ending. And how the hell did Sage show up here anyway? Seriously, I'm sorry. The only thing that's really cool about your movie is the makeup and the special effects. Um... But then again, yeah, the that, scene of Mark Wahlberg and Helena Bonham Carter in her ape makeup kissing is that. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, Helena Bonham Carter, she's hot, so I guess you know, getting to kiss her is getting to kiss her. But I still be turned off in that ape makeup, like. Mm -mm. Nope. Very much so. I'm good. Be like, come here with those sexy ape cheeks. I gotta kiss it. Nope. Nah, yeah, fuck him. Oh, but so I got into this new YouTuber that I really like called Minty. Mm -hmm. You got to we'll check him out. He just takes old movies and he's like, hey, here's 10 things you didn't know about the movie. Cool. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. I was like, I kind of like this guy. This guy's kind of cool. He teaches me things that I didn't know. And then um, I started working on a new. Yeah, that's exactly what he's into. Eight cheeks. Um, do you have something to let me know here, Dennis? Um. Um. I mean, to, 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 to 2016, the Harambe killing was not an accident. I have very powerful friends. Dude, that is just wrong. <laughs> Sorry. As, a, as an ex-zookeeper, that was just wrong. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The ape cheeks or the dead gorilla? Which one was the wrong part here? What do you think? Crap. Instant karma! Damn it! I like made a really messed up joke and then like my drink falls over. I was like, no! Oh, dang it! Instant karma. Yeah, I was like, damn it! Yeah. Um, I try I try to stay away from the whole Harambe thing because that as someone like me who's worked with animals most of her life, that is a very controversial subject. That's like trying to talk about um, politics or religion. We don't do that. Mm. No. Ugh. So let's see. What else is going on? Um, I'm still in quarantine. The rest of the world has decided they don't want to be in it anymore. Which caused a spike where I live to show yeah, up. Yeah, because they had they had a party in your area, and then yep. it just like immediately spiked. I was like, "Oh, awesome! That's great." And what I find hilarious is the people who got it. They weren't elderly. They weren't overweight. They weren't smokers. They're not on dialysis. They don't have diabetes. They're twenty-year-old college kids. And I hate to say this. I know this sounds very unsympathetic. And, yeah, it sucks that they got it. Bad camera. 
but maybe this will make people realize maybe anybody can get it. Because I, 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 we just lost, I just lost a second friend to COVID. Mm -hmm. And she's no, she was nowhere near my age. She's actually 10 years younger than I am. So kind of around my age. Yeah. She was in her third. Mm -hmm. So that's what frat boys and sorority girls do. Party, party, party. Yeah. Don't I know it? Uh, so she was in her thirties. Um, very athletic. She always ran, she ran for like an hour and a half every day. She didn't smoke. She didn't drink. She ate healthy. She used to make fun of me because I'm like, I'm not eating that shit. That's not McDonald's and I don't want it. And she got sick and she died. Waiting for her test results to come back, by the way. So. And I think that's that's the sad part of it is it takes people. It's like it has to come to someone's front door before they realize how serious this is. And that's really sad. It's like, guys, no, it's it's there. But it's I don't think that's like an ignorant. It's more like a psychological thing, because if it's at a distance, like if there's if you're in a county. And there's like three cases, but you didn't know them. It's like it's here, but it's over. The, it's happening over there. But when it actually happens a lot closer to you, that triggers like a psychological thing. Oh no, I totally for, get it. For, yeah, like for your mind, it like, way, makes it like the way how happens. people are acting is kind of like, oh my gosh, this tornado hit this town. Oh my gosh, that's so sad, but it's not my town. It's not my family. It's not my friends. So I'm going to go about my life and do what I always do. Then when yeah. that tornado comes and hits you and your family and your house, it becomes a whole new thing because then you are, every time it rains, every time the wind picks up, every time you hear sirens, it's a whole new world for you. Mm -hmm. And I get that. And the sad part is, is I wish it didn't have to be that way. I really, I would never wish this upon anybody to ever have to deal with it, whether they're asymptomatic or if it would actually harm them or kill them. But it's come to the point now where people are like, well, it's not happening to my friends or family, so we're healthy, we're okay. And I think the biggest thing that people are not understanding is there are people who are asymptomatic. Meaning, you may be as healthy as a horse, but you could still be carrying it. Yeah. And that's where the danger comes in. And I think the biggest, the thing that ticks me off the most is these people. You're taking away my civil rights by saying I have to wear a mask. Asking people to wear a mask is no different than no shoes, no, sh sh no shirt, no service right now. Right. And no one took away your civil rights for that. We're not taking mm -hmm. away your freedom of speech. We're not taking away your freedom of religion. We're not taking away anything that's actually a freedom. All we're doing is asking you to be kind to your fellow Americans, to be kind to your fellow man, woman, and child, and stop spreading something that, say what you want, it's killed over 100,000 people, people. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I was coughing. I was just like, well, the thing about it is like, it's like I could get it if like people were jacking up prices on like masks and stuff, but they aren't. They're cheap. I've even seen like how to tutorials to like turn a sock into a mask. Right. Like and if you three cuts on a sock turns it into a mask. And I'm gonna be honest, uh we're selling our masks pretty dirt cheap dirt cheap. We're selling them at ten bucks and then we're trying to work our best way around to get you the cheapest shipping and handling that we can come up with to get you the mask. You yes. know, we're not, we're not charging an arm and a leg. Um, a lot of the masks that we've made, you would be spending 20, 25 bucks plus another five to 10 bucks in shipping and handling. We're, you know, we're trying to get you quality masks that are fun to wear. Mm -hmm. And, but, and I, and I know a lot of people are going, yeah, but they originally said that masks weren't going to help. Has anybody not figured out that they lied when they said that? They said that because just like toilet paper and everything else, you idiots would have ran out there taking on the masks. Mm -hmm. 
and then we would have been out. The, the everything that they've done was to stop the hospitals from flooding over with people with this. It 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 wasn't to be mean and it wasn't to be cruel. And everybody had you know, everybody's had to make sacrifices. Some people got lucky and got to work. Some people like me ended up quitting their job and is literally living off of fumes because I quit my job. I didn't get fired. I wasn't let go. I walked out on my job. Even though it was because of an anxiety attack, but because I walked out on my job, I don't get unemployment during this. I, re yeah. I receive nothing. I get nothing. There is no money coming in to help me, even though I had an anxiety attack over this situation. Mm. But the one thing that has made me prove to me is when the zombie apocalypse comes, I'm so glad I have my shotgun. Because <laughs> I'm taking everybody out. This. I didn't realize this. Like, uh, I was at my grandma's house this weekend. And she looks at my brother because we were having, like, a Memorial Day cookout thing. And she said, like, oh, by the way, she looks at my brother. She goes, oh, by the way, Craig, I need more watermelon cut. And then my brother goes over to my grandma's cabinet and pulls out what I can only describe as a machete. And I'm like, Grandma, where did you get that? She goes, oh, it's just been here. I said, my grandma straight up just has a machete that she uses for cutting watermelon. Well, yeah. <laughs> what else are you supposed to use? A knife? Ugh. So I'm just sitting there just imagining her like, 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 you see, like, 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 like a psycho just like cutting pieces off, just eating it like that. So I just, like, imagine my grandma sitting at the table cutting off pieces of, like, watermelon and just eating it off this machete. I was like, God dang, Grandma. Machete! Yeah, you hardcore. I love that movie, by the way. Oh, that's great. But, uh, sorry. Twitch just went off. Um, but yeah. Because there have been... I want to let, 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 let me say something real quickly. Um, not everything has been bad. There have been people who really have shown their true that, that that there is some humanity left in this world. Mm. A lot of you have not. I'm so glad I have my pink shotgun because, yeah, if an apocalypse actually happens, I'm not seeing <laughs> what mankind is going to do. And I am not. If there's an actual apocalypse and everything's going to go to hell. I'm taking you all out. And if it's a zombie yeah. apocalypse, I'm definitely taking you all out. Right after I put on my uh, Beyond Thunderdome Tina Turner costume. <laughs> it's like Matt and I drive up, like Matt and I drive up in like my truck. And she's like, all right, we got to grab, we got to grab Amanda. She just runs out. Like, like uh, the jawless zombies that Michonne had just leading them around with a shotgun. We're just like, nah, I think she's fine here. Why? This point, Matt just goes. Just Randy Marsh, that shit, just stare at you as we just uh, like, you might, drive by. You might as well just come over here, follow me, because we're going to go get the zombie bus. <laughs> and yes, there is a zombie bus. There is a bus that I spent time decking out for the apocalypse. I got this. I'm a survivor. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to cry. I'm a survivor. What? I have a zombie survival kit in my office, my bedroom, my kitchen, and hidden on the zombie bus. On the bus. Dude, the bus is going to be awesome. I need to get an. I actually, this is actually one of my dreams that I want to do. Um, I mean, like, I realize I have the zombie bus, and like, I'm. I, I, it would be nice if I could have a zombie apocalypse. It really would be. Ah, uh, to dream. But I am. I would love to find another, uh, like, a, another bus, like a school bus. I would love to deck that out, paint it black and red, put the AGP logo on it, and we use that to go to and from conventions. That would be epically awesome. That'd be great. I mean, think about it. Or, you know, or he's only allowed to go if I do. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I get everybody. Think about it. We, everybody just shows up here 
All the stuff goes into the bus. There's plenty of room for everything. We can have shenanigans on the bus. Just one of us has to get a CDL to drive it, or I just hire a driver. Dude, that'd be awesome. Mm -hmm. Or eventually... Like get, get two of us that have a CDL be able to, like, tag out. Or maybe just get a bus bus, like... Hey, I need a bus bus. I want it to have rooms in the whole nine yards. I need it to have a kitchen. Ooh, like a Winnebago. Ooh, we could just get a Winnebago. Yeah, a Winnebago. We need an AGP Winnebago. We hook it up with, you know, the game systems or a PC, get some Wi-Fi going into there. We could play games and live stream while on the road. Yo, that'd be lit. Like, like we're in the middle of a match in Dead by Daylight. We hit a pothole. <laughs> I got this. Oh, I'm good, but just the thing is, is like these are the things that I would love to be able to do. <laughs> yes, yeah. Maya. Seriously, I really want to be able to do stuff like that. People, you yeah. know, my my dream for this is I, I realize it's very far and far fetched, and at my age, I'm gonna be grayer than I am now before I'll ever see it achieved, and all my skin will be down here because I'll be all old and walking with the walker with the tennis balls on the bottom of it. But it would be so cool to have like something like that for when we go on the road because we do go on the road, just not this year. <laughs> oh no, not this year. <laughs> I mean, I had to, I had to cancel a total of ten shows we were scheduled for this year. Ten. It sucks. Uh, but yeah, um, I would love to have something like that because I think it'd be cool. Because you know. Where I live is kind of like a center point for everybody, so it takes almost everybody the same amount of time to get here. So it's a nice yeah. little center point, and the apartment's big enough. I mean, we did the 24-hour live stream, and everybody was here, so there's plenty of room for everybody to sleep and chill for the night. That still freaks me out. It's just like I'm sitting there playing Ratchet and Clank. I'm trying to like give commentary at like 3 in the morning. She's answering me consciously, but is still asleep. It's just like... Oh, yeah, in the first game, there were, like, nine planets, and she, like, names off three of them. I'm like, yeah, that's right. And I, is she fucking sleeping right now? Yes, I was sleeping, and I didn't care. Um, it's, it's one of my funny little quirks. I can sleep and still interact with stuff. Um, it, this isn't like when Tyler falls asleep. Tyler falls asleep and rubber band. He knows he's falling asleep, so you'll watch him in a rubber band his controller, and then he just goes to sleep. And then I'm like, I'm like the different. I'm actually still doing this. Uh huh. Uh huh. And yeah, it's still on because I have a video over on YouTube playing. Me too. <laughs> well, it's not playing. YouTube's just on because I was watching YouTube before I went to do this. Mm. And then when this is done, I have to up. I have to do an up. Uh, not an upgrade. Um, an update on Ark Survival for the PC. Oh, I can't mm. wait till you get this for PC. Oh my gosh. So much fun. All the different mods. We're gonna play we're gonna play the Jurassic Park mod. We're gonna play Primal Fear mod with boom booms on dodos. We're gonna play mythical creatures where you can ride female centaurs. Oh yeah. <laughs> I have to. I have. I made one world. I had a blonde and a brunette because they do. They come in. the The females are redheads, brunettes, and blondes. And I had a brunette and a blonde, and I called them boobies and bouncy. <laughs> I get two of them. Call them shivers and shakes. <laughs> yep, I got these two beauties over in Middletown. As you can but, see, that one's got the shivers. That one's got the shakes. <laughs> Don't do drugs, kids. Woo, that'll mess you up. Why? I turned out fine. Hmm. I mean, no. Don't do drugs. They're bad. Which is why you should give them to your friendly neighborhood uh, AGP members. We will properly dispose of them. Hi, baby. What? No. Those are my boogies. You can't have them. You want, you want to say hi? Look, just look, look. Look, no, look, 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 it's Dennis. Say hi. Hey, you little fur bite. I need that toe back. I know you still have it. <laughs> no, she doesn't. She ate it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she shit it out somewhere and I threw it away. Uh, 
my toes. You want to cheese it? Here you go. Oh, you don't want to cheese it? Okay, I'll eat it. <laughs> hey, look. She go. She eats salt and vinegar chips. It's gross. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. If I eat it, my dog will eat it. And I eat salt and vinegar chips. So, Ugh. speaking of, it is. Hey, stop fighting with the cats. Anyway, but we are gonna have to go ahead and start ending this because it is eight thirty. I wasn't expected to go this long, but yay! But. Now I have, now that now now that I know that Dennis can actually do this, he's gonna have to be on here more often for our mm -hmm. just chilling and chatting. Um, mm -hmm. And it's gonna take us some time to really get into a rhythm with doing this because before when we were doing this, we were going places, doing stuff, and has some fun stories. Now we're sitting at home, and I'm not even really wearing pants, so I'm just wearing yeah, shorts. just kind of talking about like media <laughs> stuff. It's like. Like I, I, we were talking earlier today, and uh, since the killer was announced, I was like, "Oh, hey, I'll come on to talk about that." Mhm. Mm like, um, okay, yeah. Speaking of, what are you doing tonight? Are you playing with Hannah? I uh, no, my brother's got. Uh, after I get a little bit of more homework done, my brother has a, a wrestling thing we we're gonna watch. From when so to when? Get, uh probably I'll work on some homework stuff for about eight. And from about like eleven till, uh, not, uh, from about like nine till, whenever that's done, we'll okay. be watching wrestling. Cause um, I I'm talking to Kelsey uh, tonight, and I think she's mm -hmm. interested in playing. So we're thinking about playing some Dead by Daylight with more roulettes rules. Chicken horse. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking chicken horse. <laughs> oh, that's such a fun game. Uh. I I just I just really hope that this stuff ends up getting to the point where because I mean obviously with my immune deficiency I have to be even more careful so you know and I and I won't put anybody in this group at risk um, hmm. but I really do hope that things calm down or they do get a vaccine for this by November because I would really hate to miss out on the twenty four hour live stream. Yeah. That that's just I really don't want to miss out on that. And I mm -hmm. I really kind of want it to be done by October cuz it would be nice to be able to still be able to do Champion City this year since that's one of my shows. But mm -hmm. like I haven't even started work. I don't we haven't even figured out who we're roasting this year because we don't even know if we're going to be able to do the show. So, we'll have to wait and see. But mm -hmm. On that note, guys, there might be a stream, so just keep an eye out going on Twitch. See if we end up streaming some Dead by Daylight tonight. Of course, if you saw anything that you're interested in or want to learn more about some of the products that we have, just right now, just message us over on the AGP Facebook page. That's Amanda Gillum Presents on Facebook. You can't miss it. It's got the logo right there, like in the top corner. But thank you guys for watching. Thanks, Hannah, for joining us. And don't mm -hmm. forget to follow, subscribe here on Twitch. Remember, subscribing ends up helping us earn money so we can continue buying bigger and better things that are completely duct taped up 14,000 times. <laughs> and, of course, don't forget we also have a YouTube channel, so go over there. Like, subscribe, ring bell for notification every, so you know every time we drop a video on over there. And, of course, follow all of our social media. We're on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I know it's not as exciting right now because, again, we're not really doing a lot other than sitting at home. But if we do have a funny story, we'll let you know over there as well as telling you when we're live streaming or making a video. On that note, everybody, thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye. See you guys.